Hey guys, I'm Amar and welcome back. And there's one more thing I wanted to talk about in regards to MTUs, and uh, that's making a duplicate of MTUs. So let's say that we've got some uh, model made by Blizzard, we like this model, and we want to keep it. So let's say that I want this wardrobe as it is, because it is used in many WMOs, it is spawned on many maps and so on, and I don't want to change it, so I want to keep this one. But at the same time, I want to get a new wardrobe, which is exactly the same, but has different texture. So I want to change its texture, but I want to make a, a, a copy, basically, while keeping this original as it is, untouched, unmodified. So how to do this? A simple way. Uh, I will go to Model Viewer, Export Model, and... Or, no, Export export Texture, sorry. Uh, Check path preserved and we want to export all. Now, when it is exported, if you keep your export folder clean, you will just get files which are related to this model. And we actually have this one texture here, and we've got model here and skin file here. So we will need all these three files. Now, what to do? The first thing uh, let's give our new model some name. So I will name it, for example, like this. That's kind of naming I use. And by the way, notice that name of model is the same as name of skin file, but skin file has this zero zero here. And if this model had more skin files, it can be, as far as I know, up to four skin files. And those skin files would have numbers 00, 01, 02, and 03. So if you have multiple skin files, they will be numbered. And even if you have only one, it has to have those two zeros at the end of its name. So rename M2 and rename skin in the same manner and add those two zeros back here. They need to be kept here. And now we can really move this model whenever we want. So I will probably move it to world, custom, and M2. That's my favorite folder for my custom M2s. So I have them distinguished easily. And yeah, and I need to change path to texture in it. So how to do it? Just open it in 010 editor. And you can either press Ctrl F and find .blp and overwrite it here, like it is. You will just now start writing. For example, I would change D to A. Or you can apply M2 template and go to Structure, find Textures, which are here. And we've got only one texture. Here is Path to the Texture. You need to open this to get to the string, to the string value, and now you can change that string. By the way, you need to keep part to texture in the same length as its original one, or shorter. You can't make it longer. Uh, well, you can, but it's a little bit more complicated, and I don't want to basically waste time with showing you this. So let's just make this quick and simple. Keep this path as long as it is, or make it shorter. So what I usually do is that I just change basically the first letter to A. That's what I usually do. So let's just overwrite D with A. So it's now all screwed, <laughs> whatever. And now I can just save it. And now you do the same with our texture here. By the way, I don't have BLP plugin in Photoshop now, so just I will use PNG conversion. So I have changed D to A here as well, so I've got this texture now. I have basically created texture which matches that new path to texture I have set in my model. And now I can do whatever I want with this texture, so I can open it in Photoshop and do whatever is it so I want to do with it. I can paint on it or I can uh, change some settings and colors and whatever else. So I can modify this in any way I uh, I like. I can save it. Uh, because I don't have a BLP plugin right now, I will 
uh, use PNG and convert it to BLP. And now I can just grab this all, get it to my custom patch. And now you can see that I've got this model here, which has this changed texture. But at the same time, I'm keeping this old one uh, untouched, unmodified. So I haven't really ruined this model, but I still have this new version I wanted to have. And you can do the same with WMOs, for example, but for WMOs, you can just open them in Blender by using WMO plugin and change paths to textures there. But you can use this technique as well on them. So that's it, guys. I hope this was useful for you. Uh, just uh, an idea how to use 010 editor and what you can do. You don't really need to know how to create custom models and so on if you want to make just a copy with different texture. You just basically can do just this. So I hope this was useful for you and as always, happy modding.